माननीय मंत्री महोदय वॉइस ट्रायल घेतात प्लीज रेस्पॉन्स करा तिकडून हॅलो येतो येतो आवाज येतो येस सर थँक्यू सर्व स्नातकांना पुन्हा एकदा सूचना देतो की त्यांनी आपले मोबाईल कृपया स्विच ऑफ ठेवावे आणि सभागृहात शांतता राखावी Well, it's a lot of fun. 
माननीय प्रथम कुलपति प्रमुख अतिथि कुलगुरु कार्यकारी परिषद के सरपंचीय सदस्य इत्यादि से विरोधी ने दीक्षा का समापन का आरंभ हो ही विरोधु व्यासिता के जान अस्ता क्या नजर पुराने सरस्वती मंदर प्रांतनी आई भीतर की तीन जाले नजर प्रथम कुलपति प्रमुख अतिथि माननीय कुलगुरु कार्यकारी परिषद के सदस्य आई इधर सदस्य व्यासिता वर स्थाना प्रश्न हो ही पर्यंत कृपया सर्वानी आपात्या जाले वर उभर आए सभा करना के सर्वानी आता पसाई जाना साथी आता पसाई जाना साथी होगी सर्व इधर करनी सर्व साथ करनी आप अपने ठिकानी ऊपर ना हुए सर्व साथ करनी आप अपने ठिकानी ऊपर ना हुए
त्यानंतर राष्ट्रगीत आणि गीते भेट घेतो दीक्षांत समारंभ प्रारंभ झाल्याचे मी घोषित करतो माननीय कुलगुरु महोदय मी आपणास विनंती करतो की स्वागत स्वागत भाषण आणि अहवाल कृपया सादर करावा Honorable Minister of Agriculture, Government of Maharashtra, and Pro Chancellor of this University, Sri Dada Sahib Bhuseji. He has already joined us on online, and with these uh, instructions, this program is progressing. Chief Guest of today's function, Dr. R. C. Agarwal, Deputy Director General of Education at ICR New Delhi. Uh, Dr. Lavandeji, uh, former Vice Chancellor of BS uh, KKV, distinguished members of the Executive Council, deans, directors, members of Academic Council, staff, students receiving degrees of all, degrees and awards, distinguished guests, print and electronic media presenters. I have a proud privilege to extend a very warm welcome to all of you on the auspicious occasion of 40th convocation of Dr. Bala Sahib Savan Konkan Kushi Vidyar Vita. 
We are celebrating 50 golden years of excellence and outstanding contribution to the society at large. Through the chain of events, this golden jubilee year has become memorable to all of us and the celebration will culminate in the grand five days agriculture ex agricultural exhibition that is Solana Pali during 13th to 17th May 2022. I have no doubt that the university has justified its mandate of catering the agriculture education, research, extension requirements of the home country. At this critical juncture, we are poised to mark our roadmap on next 15 years. On this happy occasion, let us partake in the joy and pride of this university. In 1965, College of Agriculture was started at Dapoli under Mahatma Phule Kushi Vidyapit Rahul with a small intake capacity for only few undergraduate programs. It was upgraded to State Agriculture University as Konkan Kushi Vidyapit on 18th May 1972. The university was renamed as Dr. Balasai Savan Kokan Kushi Vidyapit on 12th February 2001 to commemorate the contribution of the eminent son of the soil and third Chief Minister of Maharashtra. Along this 50 years journey, the university has received several honors in recognition of its outstanding contribution to agriculture and allied fields. These include the most covetous national level best institute award of the Indian Council of Agriculture Research in 1997. The university has always taken the care of its green heritage for which has received the national level Indira Priyadarshini award once and state level Vanashri award twice. Other prestigious awards include Pai Foundation award, Dr. J.S. Patel Award, etc. Education is the prime function of any university. Our educational setup includes seven constituent, 21 affiliated colleges. More than 2,000 students are studying in our constituent colleges, and more than 6,000 in affiliated colleges under five different faculties at different levels of graduation. During the 50 years of existence, more than 19,000 undergraduate, 3,000 postgraduate, 1,600 PhD degrees have been acquired through this university by students all over the country and even abroad. In this 14th convocation, degrees are being conferred upon 12 PhDs 150 postgraduate and 1844 graduate students. The National Education Policy 2020 has come into effect, and ICI has already finalized its roadmap to implement this policy in agricultural education. Our today's chief guest has played a key role in it. I would like to highlight some of the steps we have taken to implement this policy. The policy envisages multidisciplinary universities with more than 3,000 students. I am happy to inform that DPS KKV already is an already multidisciplinary university. We have faculties of agriculture, horticulture, Agriculture, Engineering, Forestry, Fisheries, Post Harvest Management, Biotechnology, Food Technology, Agribusiness Management. Our current student strength is 8,000, including those in affiliated colleges. We have taken several initiatives in front of virtual learning. We have launched local chapter of NPTEL to offer Swayam courses in our students, for our students. 
30 students have already availed this facility. Our professors are involved in content creation and reviewing of 30 e-courses on agriculture e-learning portal. We have also resolved to contribute significantly to the agri diksha agri web education channel. Even in the COVID lockdown, some of our colleges quickly adjusted to the situation and launched their learning management systems. With ICR assistance, we have been able to create smart classrooms equipped with high-tech learning abilities. We could also provide study falcon access to most of our students, and it is proving helpful in preparation of competitive exams by our students. We are proud to mention that last year we bagged ICR prestigious NHEP Institutional Development Grant worth 6.5 crores. Under this program, we have established Idea Lab, Language Lab, Innovation Center, Innovation indicates Konkan Innovation Center, and Virtual Reality Lab. We, have, we will develop virtual reality learning module for fisheries, first time in the country. Uh, just before coming here, our Honorable DDG has uh, uh, inaugurated uh, this NHB IDP Center's uh, facility. Since the implementation of study student ready program, there, are, there has been rise in entrepreneurship among our students due to hands-on experience and skill development through experiment, experiential learning modules. This year, ICR has generously supported by sponsoring our innovative experiential learning program on ecotourism developed by College of Forestry, for which we have received rupees 65 lakh uh, for its development. The experimental learning module implemented by our college are flourishing, and success stories of many of the student entrepreneurs are celebrated by ICR or managed in their publications. As a result of all initiatives, 21 students of the university secured JIF and SRF of the ICR for the PG studies. Further, 10 students have been successful in gate and net examinations. 18 alumni of this university from various faculties have been selected for state government's PhD fellowship under Bharati, Sarathi, and Mahajyoti institutions. Coming to research aspects, our university, I must put on record that our scientists contributed immensely to the growth of agriculture, horticulture, fisheries, and forestry sectors in Konkan region through its solution-driven R&D programs. The research is mainly carried out through its regional research centers and Central Experiment Station Wakoli. In addition, colleges conduct research as per the requirements of the various stakeholders with the help of PG and PhD students, nationally important network research is conducted through 14 centers of All India coordinated uh, research projects and also through two voluntary centers of the AICRP by the university. Presently, 11 externally funded ad hoc research projects are at various stages of its progress. To improve the standard of research, we have taken two pronged approach. We have encouraged our scientists to seek external competitive grants and have offered them support in their research to make it worthy to publish in high rated journals. Last, last year, 30 crop production technologies were developed and recommended by this university for the benefit of farmers of home country. In response, our scientists have secured several competitive research and development grants in year 2021-22. I would like to highlight some of these here. Our fisheries 
unit have taken up a crab culture in vertical farming. Sticking to the tradition of providing simple user friendly, uh, friendly tools, last year our scientists developed a Konkan cow crab holder to aid the crab handling in this vertical crab culture. We are successfully conducting adopted trials of cage culture technology for red snapper, Amoshi, and sea bass, that is uh, Chitara, in car lands and even open seas. Successful demonstration of monosex tilapia culture in the palm ponds have been carried out, particularly at our Lanza Center. Our scientists have secured rupees 1.79 crores for the demonstration of aquaculture technologies for food security and to improve rural livelihood from the Department of Science Technology. That is DSC New Delhi. Seaweed cultivation has a great potential for various industrial applications like food, biotechnology, plant nutrient mixtures, etc. Our scientists have taken up this work with great enthusiasm. Another area of our research focus is on biofertilizer and biocontrol agents. We have established a culture collection center of agriculturally important microorganisms. The center will maintain the cultures of microbes shown promising results in the research and provide them for exploitation to enterprises. To develop advanced mass multiplication technologies in our biofertilizer and biocontrol agent, RKBI has sanctioned the grant of 1.9 crores to this university. Bamboo production and processing is a niche area of our research. We have secured 1.6 crore grant from RKBI for value addition in Manga Bamboo to support bamboo entrepreneurs in Konkan region. Further, Maharashtra Bamboo Development Board, Nagpur, has conferred 25 lakh rupees grant for commercial production of tissue culture. Manga Babu plants at College of Forestry, we have established Bamboo Agarbati Unit, Bamboo Tissue Culture Unit, Bamboo Treatment Unit, and soon we will have a multi processing unit of bamboo technologies here at our center. Our College of Agriculture Engineering and technology is also testing the efficacy of treated bamboo for construction of main framework of polyhouses used in protected cultures. This will bring down the cost of polyhouses by more than 50% or more, especially when steel prices are going up. Another multidisciplinary research project for counteracting effects of climate change on pollinators and Based predators of mango orchards were rupees 35 lakh has been sanctioned under NICRA by ICR CREDA. Uh, In this project, we are standardizing technology for multiplication of high use of seamless bees, which is major pollinator of mango in home country. Acknowledging our caliber and capacity. Rajiv Gandhi Science and Technology Mission Commission, Mumbai has come forward to sponsor small grants projects, especially to our teachers and PG, PG students. They have already released a grant of rupees 50 lakhs for about 10 projects, for which nearly 20 teachers are competing. Projects delivering direct benefit to stakeholders will be supported under this first initiative. This is the first initiative uh, any funding agency has taken to fund the research of student projects. Climate change in manifesting through numerous local weather aberrations. Farmers can no longer rely on broad-scale agro-advisories for their decision making. Hence, our scientists have taken up the task of developing low-cost mini weather stations, which can be installed in large number of locations throughout the region. We are planning to provide location-specific weather information-based agro-advisory 
to farmers using data obtained from these weather stations. Research on use of AI, artificial intelligence, for diagnosis of the problems is in progress, results of which will strengthen accuracy of online advertising. The intellectual property rights need to be secured in the best interest of the university as well as the community. Recently, our post harvest management unit obtained a patent for open beverage deep bags. Three patents in the area of irrigation engineering have been already filed. The university has played a key role in getting GI for mango cashew and is now in the process for obtaining it for white onions of Alibaba. Following the registration of farmers' variety of red windy last year, we also helped to register with PPVFRA a farmers' variety of a rice which is famous for preparation of rice water. The farmers will get benefit of this registration in due course of time. Despite COVID-19 pandemic, the university has organized 18 training, uh, trainers trainings, 16 farmer training programs, Similarly, 24 farmers rallies, 78 group discussions, 13 farmer scientists uh, forums were conducted by the university. Further, 215 method demonstrations, 308 result demonstrations were conducted. The university has also organized 34 webinars. During the pandemic situation, the farmers advisory reached to the farming community beneficiaries to more than 85 lakh SMS. More than 4 lakh farmers were able to solve their queries through universities, emails, and WhatsApp groups. Under MIDH support, we conducted 10 workshops to train farmers, especially women farmers, in cultivation and processing of spices. The Konkan region is experiencing frequent cyc cyclone in the last couple of years. To overcome the hazard, university has started to promote resilient crop like turmeric and on a large scale. We have established a turmeric processing unit recently to benefit our growers. To recover from the destruction of the orchards, the university has stepped up its program on production of planting material. University has organized campaigns like Gram Bijosa and shat pratishat rice cultivation. The government, government of Maharashtra is updating its Prushi uh, Shastra Paribhasha Kosh to bring the technical term into Marathi language. This university has actively participated in this initiative and organizing four meetings in the campus and particularly our staff has contributed more than 2,500 new terms in Marathi. Similarly, the university continues to publish updated edition of its attractive and informative agriculture diary, which reaches out to thousands of farmers in the region. We collaborated with widely distributor Agrovet newspaper for the special series of weekly Golden Jubilee articles and have published 52 useful articles distributing universities' key technologies to the farming community. A state level seminar on soil health and climate resilience, need for sustainable agriculture, was organized by the university during 15th and 16th of December this year, last year at Dapoli. Just two days ago, we had organized the National Conference of Agriculture Economics at Goa. Uh, we are striving to upscale our infrastructure, facilities, and programs so as to integrate modern technology in our research and education. We have acquired land at three new locations, Napne, Diveyaga, and uh, Girne. At Napne, we have immediately established a sugarcane uh, research center on 15 acres of land to support growing cultivation of uh, sugarcane in this region. We could supplement 
uh, this with a chain of Gava brand Rasavanti machines, which provide safe and healthy cool sugar cane juice. At Divega, we are re establishing our Areca Nut Research Center, which was completely destroyed by the cyclone recently. And at Girme, we are expanding our Kharan research uh, facilities, which were very funded. Our development plans will not materialize without support of the state government. The government of uh, the state government is also very positive and has recently announced a grant of 50 crores in Golden Jubilee year. Earlier, such announcement did not materialize due to COVID emergency. But as the difficult times are over, we are hopeful to get this much needed financial support. We have given comprehensive plan for this 50 crore support. We have, we have already initiated development of advanced speed breeding facility for development of the rice varieties. For this purpose, we will soon sign MOU with International Rice Research Institute, South Asia Regional Center, Varanasi. They have achieved five and a half generation of rice in one year. We are also hopeful to achieve this target. To add this, we have already achieved three and a half generations in one season at our culture center. Through this support, through this support, we will also establish a sophisticated phytochemical lab with a view to produce value-added products. Konkan region is hotspot of biodiversity and there are numerous underexploited plant species. We wish to help the locals to convert this biological richness into monetary wealth. Based on advanced phytochemical analysis, recently we have verified that Konkan cashews are better than cashews from other regions. We have identified Garcinia germplasm with High active principles like anthocyanins, hydroxysatric acid, and gummy. Our phytochemical lab will be equipped with basic facilities to commercially isolate curcumin from turmeric, pectin from mango or jackfruit waste, and certain plant protection molecules to be analyzed and uh, isolated from soap nut. We have Process imp uh, proposed impact analysis of 10 important technologies re released over the 50 years by making a special provision of two crores for that. This will bring about contribution of the university to process to progress the wealth uh, and well being of the farmer community in Pompeo region and Malaysia. Institute need encouragement to enhance their performance. We have initiated ranking system for constituent colleges and research centers and have instituted an award for 5 lakh rupees each for the best college, best research center, best extension center. The award will be utilized for the development of the awarded institute. Our sources of maintenance funding from state governments are slowly and drastically drying out. So we have exploring various ways of generation, generate our own revenue. We are encouraging revenue generation activities in each college through various revolving funds, wherein responsibility is given to our staff to exploit unexploited resource and technology. We have started units for value addition in milk, where we have involved local milk producers. Some of our successful revolving funds are horticultural nursery, fruit processing, wood and bamboo workshop, fresh, uh, fresh water fish culture and its seed production, biofertilizer and biological control agents, etc. We have taken an ambitious project of developing advanced marketing channels through niche product by value addition, by processing products like cashew nuts, Spoken beverage, gift bags, ragi, hari, etc. This has been entrusted to our agriculture economics department to give them a novel opportunity to earn revenue. We have initiated agro tourism activities at Central Experiment Station, Wakoi, 
Tourists have taken two hours excursion to show Asia's large, largest mango orchard, rubber plantation, sandalwood plantation, spice gardens, tuber farms, freshwater fish culture, irrigation structures, etc. With this, we wish to popularize our research to general masses other than farming community also. Our ecotourism unit is also taking a shape at ICR sponsorship with ICR sponsorship in our forest maintained by College of Forestry. And we are offering nature trails, e-vehicle rides, and camps for tourists. Last year, many of our colleges received accolades for their work. Our director of research, Dr. Hallan Kerr, was awarded Gridhalia Chadda Award in Fruit Science by Indian Academy of Horticulture Sciences. Our head agronomy and ICR nodal officer, Dr. P.S. Borke, received the fellowship of Indian Society of Agronomy. He also participated in international training on leadership for academic program at University of Pennsylvania, USA, under Pandit Madan Mohan Malviya National Mission and Teachers Training of Ministry of HRD, Government of India. The university has also bestowed the international the institutional fellowship of Confederation of Horticulture Association of India. COVID-19 pandemic and resultant lockdown was a difficult situation for the university as well as the students. However, our NSS students volunteered wherever necessary and with due precautions. They participated in blood donation campaign and could raise 2,100 units of blood. The university also raised the amount of over 5 lakh rupees through donations from staff to contribute to the Chief Minister's Relief Fund. We lost several of our employees in the COVID pandemic, but we made all efforts to support their families by providing immediately the employment of competition and job. In most cases, we also encouraged our employees by completing pending promotion cases this year. Last year, our university ranking was uh, ranking given by ICR also improved by 10 years. But we have long way to reach on the top 10 spot in, at a national level. The major bottleneck in our ranking is small, poor teacher um, uh, in, Teacher-student ratio, due to large number of teacher vacancies, many of uh, teachers are also retiring and that situation is becoming bad to us. Another issue is that of increasing population of girl students. Although it is a very happy situation, we are unable to provide decent accommodation facilities to girl students. We are seeking funds from various sources to upgrade our girls' hostel facility and hopefully we will be able to resolve the problem soon. We want to overcome this lacuny before next accreditation, which is due within less than two years. We have realized that agriculture is one of the sectors that kept contributing in the country and its GDP to the life support system of our population in the difficult times of COVID lockdown. Everyone is looking forward towards the sector with hope and inspiration. This is the moment for our students who are graduating today to catch the wave. Recently, it was reported that job market in agriculture sector is expanding at unprecedented rate, much higher than other sectors. If you have strived hard to acquire the necessary knowledge and skills, there is no dearth of opportunities. I wish you all a very successful career. Dear students, along with degrees, I confer upon you my wholehearted blessings for your future endeavors. But I also uh, thank uh, that today, the beginning of convocation, our own staff and students, they sang the Pasayada and uh, the uh, university song and other things. I, uh, I'm proud of it uh, and I thank it. Finally, I place on record 
Our sincere gratitude to Honorable Chancellor, Pro Chancellor of the University, the State Government of Maharashtra, MCR, Pune, Indian Council of Agriculture Research, New Delhi, members of Executive and Academic Council, staff, students for their guidance, support, and cooperation in the mission of the university to build a strong and proficient program. I solicit same spirit in the future also. Thank you. Jai Hind, Jai Mahat. Ananiya Kulapat Prati Kulapati Mahoday, but we put them to Ram Karnasaki, Napakana, Pasharan Karnachi, Anupal in the Nichi, we didn't tell that. Snatakana, Padui Pradan Karnasati, Pacharan Karnati Ave Mananya Pratikulapati Mahadam Mohode, for B. Pariksha Utan Ranaya Snatakansa Vatini Pratana Kato, is Natakana for B. Pradan Karnasati, Alunya Denabadal, upon Karikari Parishades Vilanti. या विद्यापीठाच्या कार्यकारी परिषदेने पदवी परीक्षा उत्तीर्ण होऊन पदवीस पात्र ठरलेल्या व प्रस्तुत दीक्षांत समारंभात पदवीचा स्वीकार करण्याची इच्छा असणाऱ्या स्नातकांना पदवी प्रदान करण्याची अनुज्ञा देण्याचा अनुग्रह करावा अशी विनंती करीत आहे मी डॉक्टर बीएन सावंत विद्यापीठ कार्यकारी परिषद सदस्य पदवी पुरस्कारांची अनुज्ञा देऊन माननीय प्रतिकुलपती महोदयांना पदवी परीक्षा उत्तीर्ण होऊन पदवी स्वात ठरलेल्या स्वातकांना पदवी प्रदान करावी अशी विनंती करीत आहे माननीय प्रतिकुलपती महोदय विद्यापीठाच्या पदवी स्वात ठरलेल्या परंतु या ठिकाणी उपस्थित राहू न शकलेल्या स्नातकांना ते ज्या पदवी स्वात्र ठरलेले आहे त्या पदवी पुरस्कारांचा आपण अनुग्रह करावा अशी प्रार्थना आहे या विद्यापीठाचा प्रति कुलपती या पदांवय विधिवत प्राप्त झालेल्या अधिकारात मी या विद्यापीठाच्या पदवी स्वात्र असलेल्या परंतु या पदवीदान समारंभास उपस्थित राहू न शकलेल्या स्नातकांना ते ज्या पदवी पात्र असतील ती पदवी प्रदान करतो सर्व पदवी प्राप्त पदवीधरांना माननीय प्रतिकुलपती महोदय आता उपदेश घेतील तेव्हा सर्व पदवीधरांनी आपल्या आपापल्या जागी उपदेश उभे राहून उपदेश ग्रहण करावा उपदेश पूर्ण झाल्यानंतर सर्व स्नातकांनी आम्ही उपदेशाचे चिंतन आणि मदत करून त्याप्रमाणे आचरण करू हे एकत्रित म्हणावयाचे आहे या प्रसंगी मी या विद्यापीठाचा प्रतिकुलपती या पदांवय प्राप्त झालेल्या अधिकारात आपला साव उपदेश देत आहे नेहमी सत्य बोला आपले कर्तव्य करीत राहा अभ्यासाकडे केव्हाही दुर्लक्ष करू नका सत्याचरण आणि स्वतःचे कर्तव्यापासून विचलित होऊ नका आपले कल्याण साधण्यात प्रयत्न उने पडू देऊ नका आत्मोन्नती साधण्यासाठी सतत परिश्रम करा आपली ज्ञानोपासना अविरत चालू ठेवा आणि शिक्षण प्रसाराच्या कर्तव्यात तत्पर राहा माता पिता गुरु आणि राष्ट्र यांना देवासमान पूज्य माना निर्दोष कृतीचा सतत अवलंब करा आमच्या हातून जी चांगले कृत्य घडलेली आहेत केवळ त्या कृत्यांचाच आदराने अवलंब करा हे आमचे मार्गदर्शन आहे 
हा आमचा उपदेश आहे हा आमचा संदेश आहे स्नातक हो या उपदेशाची अंतकरणात जपणूक करा आणि आपल्या जीवनात कृतीने आणि उक्तीने या पदव्यांना सदैव पात्र ठरा आम्ही उपदेशात आम्ही उपदेशाचे चिंतन आणि मनन करून त्याप्रमाणे आचरण करू मी माननीय प्रतिकुलपती महोदयांना भाषण करण्याची विनंती करतो डॉक्टर बाळासाहेब सावंत कोकण कृषी विद्यापीठाच्या चाळीसव्या पदवीदान समारंभाच्या निमित्त दीक्षांत भाषण देण्यासाठी उपस्थित विशेष अतिथी उपमहानिर्देशक भारतीय कृषी अनुसंधान परिषद नवी दिल्ली डॉक्टर आर सी अग्रवालजी विद्यापीठाचे कुलगुरू डॉक्टर संजयजी सावंतजी माजी कुलगुरू लवांदेजी विद्यापीठ कार्यकारी परिषदेचे सर्व सन्मान्य सदस्य सर्व सन्मान्य लोकप्रतिनिधी कुलसचिव विद्यापीठाच्या विद्वत परिषदेचे सर्व सदस्य प्राध्यापक वर्ग पदवी प्रदान करावयाचे स्नातक निमंत्रित माध्यम प्रतिनिधी विद्यार्थी पालक वर्ग व उपस्थित बंधू आणि भगिनी डॉक्टर बाळासाहेब सावंत कोकण कृषी विद्यापीठाच्या चाळीसवा पदवीदान समारंभ विद्यापीठाच्या सुवर्ण जयंती वर्षामध्ये संपन्न होत आहे याचा मला विशेष आनंद आहे दिनांक अठरा मे एकोणासशे बहात्तर रोजी कोकणातील शेतकऱ्यांच्या आकांक्षेचे प्रतीक म्हणून कोकण कृषी विद्यापीठाची स्थापना झाली पुढे दिनांक बारा फेब्रुवारी दोन रोजी विद्यापीठाचा नामविस्तार डॉक्टर बाळासाहेब सावंत कोकण कृषी विद्यापीठ असा करण्यात आला दोन हजार बावीस हे वर्ष कृषी विद्यापीठाचे सुवर्ण महोत्सवी वर्ष म्हणून आपण साजरे करत आहोत आजच्या या चाळीसव्या दीक्षांत समारंभात दोन हजार वीस एकवीस वर्षातील विविध विद्याशाखेतील एकूण दोन हजार आठ स्नातकांना विविध पदवीने अनुग्रहित करण्यात येत आहे या सर्वांचे मी मनपूर्वक अभिनंदन करतो आणि त्या सर्वांच्या भावी आयुष्याकरिता शुभेच्छा शुभेच्छा देतो परमेश्वराकडे प्रार्थना करतो की या सर्व स्नातकांचे भावी आयुष्य सुख समृद्धीचे भरभराटीचे आणि निरोगी जाओ अशी प्रार्थना परमेश्वराच्या चरणे करतो या विषयाच्या संदर्भात बोलत असताना प्रथमच भारतीय वेशभूषा हा बदल केल्याबद्दल मी सर्व मान्यवरांचं या ठिकाणी अभिनंदन करतो मला वाटतं की महाराष्ट्रातील चार कृषी विद्यापीठांच्या पैकी दापोली कृषी विद्यापीठाने भारतीय वेशभूषेच्या माध्यमातनं पदवी प्रदान पदवीदान समारंभ आयोजित केला त्याबद्दल मी त्यांचं आभार व्यक्त करतो त्यांचं अभिनंदन करतो महाराष्ट्राचे लोकप्रिय मुख्यमंत्री आदरणीय उद्धवजी ठाकरे साहेब यांच्या संकल्पनेतील शेतकऱ्याला केंद्रबिंदू मानून त्यांचे जीवन मान उंचावण्याच्यासाठी तसेच त्याला समाजात प्रतिष्ठा मिळवून देणारा कृषी विकास आपल्या सर्वांना त्या ठिकाणी अपेक्षित आहे विद्यापीठांनी या संदर्भातले कार्य गेली अनेक वर्षांच्या पासून संपन्न केलेले आहे माननीय मुख्यमंत्री महोदयांचं जे ब्रीद आहे विकेल ते पिकेल ज्या वाणाला बाजारामध्ये मोठ्या प्रमाणात मागणी आहे ज्या माध्यमातनं शेतकरी बांधवांना दोन पैसे जास्तीचे मिळू शकतील ते वान शेतकऱ्यांनी पिकवावे दर्जेदार पद्धतीच पिके फळे घ्यावेत त्याच्यामध्ये व्हॅल्यू ऍडिशन प्रक्रिया उद्योग काय करू शकतो त्या दृष्टिकोनातनं कार्य करावे आणि याच धर्तीवर आपले सर्वांचे या धोरणांची अंमलबजावणी सुरू आहे आपल्याला माहिती आहे की 
जागतिक स्तरा तापमान वढ़ीच संकट आयावरणा जे का बदल होता है ते सर्व पहाता पर्यावरण अनुकल परिस्थिति मध्य शतक कशा पद्धति ने शेती करावे या सदर्भा मध्य अपने सर्वान मोटा प्रमाण काम करना की आवश्यकता है कार्बन क्रेडिट ची संकना आता राब प्रमाण आवश्यकता है आवश्यक कार्यप्रणाली व शतक प्रचार प्रसार या विषय विद्यापीठाकार घवा अशा प्रकार की मी विनंती करते राज्य शासना ने सदर्भ धोरणात्मक निर्णय घेरविले विद्यापीठा ने वर्षापस उत्कृष्ट संशोधन केन्द्र उत्कृष्ट महाविद्यालय उत्कृष्ट विस्तार केन्द्र ये निवड़ कर गौरव करने बाबत उपक्रम चालू के बदल मैं विद्यापीठा विशेष कौतुक करते को नैसर्गिक आपत्ति ओढ़ी विद्यापीठा ने शतक मदती हाथ दिला वर्षी निसर्ग वे को फलझाड़े अतोनात नुकसान विद्यापीठा ने शतक विविध फलझाड़ी कलमे रोपे लगवड़ी करता उपलब्ध कर बदल मी विद्यापीठा आभार व्यक्त करते अपने कृषि विद्यापीठा वैशिष्ट मे फलोत्पादन मत्स्योत्पादन फलोत्पादना क्षेत्र विद्यापीठा कामगिरी अतिशय कौतुकास्पद है विस्तीर्ण सात वीस किलोमीटर लंबी समुद्र किनारा अपने राज्य लाभ मत्स्योत्पादना मधे ही अपने प्रमाण काम करना की संधि है मसे मे को लोक नागरिक प्रथिना मूल स्रोत है अपने रत्नागिरी जि मत्स्य विज्ञान जे शिक्षण केन्द्र है पालघर ठाने रायगढ़ जि कार्यवाही कर मैं अपेक्षित है अन्न धान्या उत्पादना अपन भारत स्वयंपूर्ण तरी अन्न धान्य उत्पा उत्पादना स्वयंपूर्णता हे राज्य के एकमेव उद्दिष्ट नतक उपलब्ध संसाधन का परिपूर्ण वपर कर अधिकाधिक आर्थिक फायदा मिलन देने अपने सर्वान निश्चितपने काम करना की आवश्यकता है मुक्त आर्थिक व्यवस्था व जागतिक व्यापार व्यवस्थे का फायदा कर दृष्टि ने कृषि फलोत्पादन व जलसंधारण क्षेत्र कृषि उत्पादन वढ़ निरियात वृद्धि व कृषि प्रक्रिया उद्योग प्रोत्साहन देने का अनेक योजना अपन राब प्रयत्न करते आहोत महाराष्ट्र शासन राबत रोजगार हमी योजने अंतर्गत फलबाग लगवड़ी की महत्वाकांक्षी योजना हा या धोरणा एक भाग है अपने महति है कि गे दोन वर्षा मधे साठ हजार हेक्टर पर्यत रोजगार हमी योजने का मध्यम फलबाग लगव करना अपन यशस्वी आहोत शतक कुटुंबा शेती करता महिला प्रमाण सहभाग ज्या पद्धति ने आता माननीय कुलगुरु महोदया अपने समोर विषेद के विद्यार्थिनी संख्या अपने कृषि महाविद्यालय मध्य मोटा प्रमाण वाड़ते है महिला शेती क्षेत्र योगदान पहाता दोन हजार बावीस वर्षा महिला शतक व शतमजूर सन्म्मा वर्ष साजर कर निर्णय अपन सर्वानी घ मला अतिशय नम्रते ने अपने संगाइच है कृषि विभाग व्यक्तिगत लाभा ज्यादा योजना है या सर्व योजना मध्य पन्ना टक्त योजना या महिला शतक राखन का निर्णय प्राधान्य क्रमा महिला शतक लाभ देने का निर्णय कृषि विभाग ने घीमाग् का अहिया देवी होलकर रोप वॉटिका योजने मध्य सुधा महिला शतक प्राधान्य दे कृषि महाविद्यालय कृषि विद्यापीठा मध्य विद्यार्थिनी वाढ़ती संख्या पहाता या आम भगिनी सुरक्षित 
आणि सर्व सुविधायुक्त वसतिगृह प्राधान्य क्रमाने ही देण्याचा निर्णय आपण त्या ठिकाणी केलेला आहे कृषी क्षेत्रात अनेक आव्हाने आहेत त्यासाठी संशोधन कार्य हाती घेऊन शेतकऱ्यांच्या पर्यंत पोहोचवणं ही आपली सगळ्यांची जबाबदारी आहे मला वाटतं की शेतीचा उत्पादन खर्च कमी करणे शेतीमध्ये काम करणाऱ्या मजुरांचे कष्ट कमी करण्याच्यासाठी छोट्या व किफायतशीर अवजारे निर्मितीच्या साठी मोठ्या प्रमाणात संशोधन करणे नाशवंत शेतमालाचे नुकसान कमी करणे त्याचं सेल्फ लाईफ वाढवणे शेतमालाची मूल्यवर्तन साखळी बळकट करणे आणि शेतकऱ्यांचे निव्वळ उत्पन्न वाढवणे यासाठी आपण सर्वजण त्या ठिकाणी कार्य करण्याचा प्रयत्न करतो आहोत शेती उत्पादनात वाढ करताना त्याची गुणवत्ता व शेतकऱ्यांचे उत्पन्न वाढीसाठी आपल्याला सगळ्यांना त्या ठिकाणी मोठ्या प्रमाणात प्रयत्न करण्याची आवश्यकता आहे आणि शेतकऱ्यांचे गरजावर आधारित संशोधन व विस्तार कार्य आपल्याला आणखी मोठ्या प्रमाणात करावं लागणार आहे मी आपल्याला या कार्यक्रमाच्या निमित्ताने विनंती आव्हान करेन की देशाच्या पातळीवर राज्याच्या पातळीवर कोणती फळं कोणती धान्य आयात केले जात आहे ते आम्ही आमच्या राज्यात मोठ्या प्रमाणात निर्माण करू शकतो का जसं दापोली कृषी विद्यापीठाने पाठीमागच्या काळामध्ये अवोकॅडो रानभाज्या आणि इतरही काही बाबींमध्ये अतिशय चांगलं कार्य केलेलं आहे येणाऱ्या काळामध्ये कृषी पर्यटनाच्याही मोठ्या संधी आपल्याला कोकण प्रदेशामध्ये त्या ठिकाणी उपलब्ध आहेत आणि म्हणून मी सर्व कृषी पदवीधरांना उत्तम शेती करीत असताना याही कामांमध्ये आपण त्या ठिकाणी कार्य करावं अशा प्रकारची विनंती करतो आपल्याला माहिती आहे निर्माण जा, निर्माण झालेल्या मालावर प्रक्रिया करण्याच्या दृष्टिकोनातन प्रधानमंत्री अन्न प्रक्रिया मुख्यमंत्री अन्न प्रक्रिया माननीय बाळासाहेब ठाकरे स्मार्ट पोकरा या वेगवेगळ्या योजना एका छताखाली आणून त्या ठिकाणी ग्रामीण पर्यावर परिवर्तन कसं करता येईल शेतकऱ्यांच्या कंपन्यांना बळकटी कसं करता येईल महिला शेतकऱ्यांच्या गटांना साथ कशी देता येईल या दृष्टिकोनातन कार्य केलं जात आहे आणि सर्व तरुण कृषी पदवीधरांनी या सर्व गोष्टींचा फायदा घ्यावा अशी मी विनंती आणि आव्हान करतो चालू वर्षापासून कृषी क्षेत्रात चांगले संशोधन करणाऱ्या शास्त्रज्ञांसाठी युवा शास्त्रज्ञ पुरस्कार देण्याचा निर्णय आपण सर्वांनी मिळून त्या ठिकाणी घेतलेला आहे शेती या विषयाचं महत्व विचारात घेऊन शेती या विषयाचा समावेश शालेय शिक्षणामध्ये करण्याच्याही दृष्टिकोनातन त्या ठिकाणी पाठपुरावा सुरू आहे कृषी उत्पादनात वाढ व मुल व मालाची गुणवत्ता आणि त्यातील सातत्य टिकवण्यासाठी पर्यायाने शेतकरी बांधवांच्या समृद्धीसाठी महाराष्ट्र शासन कृषी विभाग कृषी विद्यापीठ व कृषी पदवीधर आपण सर्व मिळून त्या ठिकाणी कार्य करूया असं मी विनंती आव्हान करतो दिनांक तेरा ते सतरा मे दोन हजार बावीस दरम्यान आपले विद्यापीठाने सुवर्ण पालवी कृषी महोत्सवाचे आयोजन केलेले आहे या सर्व उपक्रमांमध्ये कृषी प्रदर्शन प्रात्यक्षिके परिसंवाद चर्चा सत्रे शिवार फेरी आंबा महोत्सव फळ प्रदर्शन पुष्प प्रदर्शन पशु पक्षी प्रदर्शन खाद्य पदार्थ स्पर्धा इत्यादी बाबींचा समावेश असणार आहे या महोत्सवाचा कोकणातील तसेच राज्याच्या इतर भागातील शेतकऱ्यांना निश्चितपणे फायदा होईल याचा मला विश्वास आहे राष्ट्रीय कृषी विकास योजनेअंतर्गत विद्यापीठाला शासनाने मांडगा बांबूच्या मूल्यवर्धनाद्वारे कोकणामध्ये उद्योजकता विकास करण्यासाठी एकशे शहात्तर लक्ष रुपये तसेच पिकांच्या निकोप वाढीसाठी आणि अधिक उत्पादनासाठी प्रगत तंत्रज्ञानाचा वापर करून विविध जैव नियंत्रकाचे उत्पादन करण्यासाठी एकशे नव्वद लाख रुपयांचे अनुदान प्रकल्प मंजूर केले असून सदर दोन्ही प्रकल्पातून शेतकऱ्यांना उपयुक्त अशा शिफारशींची अपेक्षा व्यक्त करतो कृषी पदवी व प्रत्युत्तर विद्यार्थ्यांना केवळ नोकरीच्या मागे न लागता 
शेतीमध्ये नवनवीन प्रयोग करून नवक्रांती घडून आणावी स्वतःचे उद्योग सुरू करून रोजगार निर्मिती करावी यासाठी शासनाच्या विविध योजनांचा लाभ घ्यावा असं मी आवाहन करतो महाराष्ट्र शासनाच्या कृषी विभागामार्फत ई परवाना ई ठिबक क्रॉप सॅप हट सॅप क्रॉप वॉच इत्यादी प्रकल्प आज्ञावल्यामार्फत सर्व प्रकल्पांची माहिती मिळते शासनाच्या ई पी पाहणी उपक्रमामध्ये कृषी विद्यापीठातील विद्यार्थ्यांचा अतिशय चांगला सहभाग त्या ठिकाणी दिसून आलेला आहे परंतु आणखी आपल्याला मोठ्या प्रमाणात ई माध्यमातून या तंत्रज्ञानाच्या माध्यमातून जास्तीत जास्त शेतकरी बांधवांना डिजिटल क्रांतीची जागृती निर्माण करणं त्या ठिकाणी आपले सर्वांची जबाबदारी त्या ठिकाणी असणार आहे आणि म्हणून सर्व विद्यार्थी बंधू भगिनींना मी शुभेच्छा देतो विद्यापीठाला सशक्त व स्वयंपूर्ण होण्यासाठी मी आपल्या सर्वांना शुभेच्छा देतो आपल्या सगळ्यांचा आभार मानतो मी आज पालघर जिल्ह्यातल्या मोखाडा या आदिवासी क्षेत्रातनं आपल्या सर्वांशी संवाद साधला आपल्या सगळ्यांचे मी आभार मानतो आपल्या सर्वांना शुभेच्छा जय हिंद जय महाराष्ट्र आम्हाला माहित आहे की आपल्या व्यस्त कार्यक्रमामुळे हा जो दीक्षांत समारंभ आणखी सहा तास चालणार आहे तर हा असा सुरू ठेवण्यासाठी मान्य कुलगुरूंना परवानगी देण्याची आपण घोषणा करावी मी असे घोषित करतो की दीक्षांत समारंभाचा उर्वरित कार्यक्रम कुलगुरू महोदयांच्या अध्यक्षतेखाली संपन्न होईल उचित योग्यता प्राप्त केलेल्या स्नातकांना व्यक्तिशः आपला समोर सादर करण्याची अनुज्ञा असावी पदवी पुरस्कारांचा आपण अनुग्रह करावा अशी प्रार्थना आहे या विद्यापीठाच्या कुलगुरू या पदामुळे श्रीवत प्राप्त झालेल्या अधिकारात मी डॉक्टर ऑफ फिलॉसॉफी कृषी या पदवी पुरस्काराचा अनुग्रह करीत आहे आणि ही पदवी प्राप्त करणाऱ्या पदवीधरांना या पदवीची अध्यादेशित अधिचिन्हे म्हणून विद्यावस्त्रे परिधान करण्याची अनुज्ञा देत उपस्थित नंतर माननीय गुरुदू महोदयांकडून पदवीचा व्यक्तिशाह स्वीकार करतील श्रीमती प्रीती व्ही पी कृषी अर्थशास्त्र कुलकर्णी महेश मनमोहन उद्यान विद्या कॉलेजशास्त्र भुवन आशीष विनायक उद्यान विद्या कॉलेजशास्त्र मोरा सुमेन भानुदास मसाला पिके औषधी व सुगंधी वनस्पती बालाजी शिवाजी आनुवंशिका आणि वनस्पती प्रजनन सकाळ सागर दत्तात्रय कृषी कीटकशास्त्र वागळे स्वप्नील अनिल कृषी अर्थशास्त्र अनप विक्रम नारायण कृषी अर्थशास्त्र श्रीमती जाधव राधा महादेव विस्तार शिक्षण जाधव सागर चंद्रकांत मृदशास्त्र आणि कृषी रसायन शास्त्र सर्व स्नातकांनी
या विद्यापीठाचा कुलगुरू या पदांमुळे विधिवत प्राप्त झालेल्या अधिकारात मी बॅचलर ऑफ सायन्स विद्यापीठ या पदवी पुरस्काराचा अनुग्रह करीत आहे आणि ही पदवी प्राप्त करणाऱ्या पदवीधरांना या पदवीची अध्यादेशित अधिचिन्ह म्हणून विद्यावस्थे प्रदान करण्याची अनुज्ञा देत आहे बीएससी वनशास्त्र स्नातक पदवी प्रदान करेपर्यंत उभूत उभे राहतील माननीय गुरुगुरु महोदय कृषी विद्या शाखेचे बॅचलर ऑफ सायन्स वनशास्त्र या पदवी करिता उचित योग्यता प्राप्त केलेल्या स्नातकांना व्यक्तीच्या आपणासमोर सादर करण्याची अनुज्ञा असावी पदवी पुरस्कारांचा आपण अनुग्रह करावा अशी प्रार्थना आहे या विद्यापीठाचा कुलगुरू या पदांमुळे विधिवत प्राप्त झालेल्या अधिकारात मी बॅचलर ऑफ सायन्स वनशास्त्र या पदवी पुरस्काराचा अनुग्रह करीत आहे आणि ही पदवी प्राप्त करणाऱ्या पदवीदारांना या पदवीची अध्यादेशी अधिचिन्ह म्हणून विद्यावस्थे परिधान करण्याची अनुज्ञा देत आहे बी बी एम कृषी स्नातक पदवी प्रदान करेपर्यंत उठून उभे राहतील मान्य कुलगुरु महोदय कृषी विद्या शाखेतील बॅचलर ऑफ बिझनेस मॅनेजमेंट कृषी या पदवी करिता उचित योग्यता प्राप्त केलेल्या स्नातकांना व्यक्तीशा आपणा समोर सादर करण्याची अनुज्ञा असावी पदवी पुरस्कारांचा आपण अनुग्रह करावा अशी प्रार्थना आहे या विद्यापीठाचा कुलगुरु या पदांमुळे विविध विधिवत प्राप्त झालेल्या अधिकारात मी बॅचलर ऑफ बिझनेस मॅनेजमेंट कृषी या पदवी पुरस्काराचा अनुग्रह करीत आहे आणि ही पदवी प्राप्त करणाऱ्या पदवीदारांना या पदवीची अध्यादेशी प्राधिचिन्ह म्हणून विद्यावस्थे परिधान करण्याची अनुज्ञा देते यानंतर विशेष अन्न तंत्रज्ञान स्थानक पदवी प्रदान करण्याची तो उपलब्ध आहे मान्य गुरु महोदय कृषी विद्या शाखेतील बॅचलर ऑफ टेक्नॉलॉजी अन्न तंत्रज्ञान या पदवी करिता उचित योग्यता प्राप्त केलेल्या स्नातकांना व्यक्तीशा आपणा समोर सादर करण्याची अनुज्ञा असावी पदवी पुरस्कारांचा आपण अनुग्रह करावा अशी प्रार्थना आहे या विद्यापीठाचा कुलगुरू या पदांमुळे विधिवत प्राप्त झालेल्या अधिकारात मी बॅचलर ऑफ टेक्नॉलॉजी अन्न तंत्रज्ञान या पदवी पुरस्काराचा अनुग्रह करीत आहे आणि ही पदवी प्राप्त करणाऱ्या पदवीदारांना या पदवीची अध्यादेशी अधिचिन्ह म्हणून विद्यावस्थे परिधान करण्याची अनुज्ञा देत आहे बीएससी कृषी जैव तंत्रज्ञान स्नातक पदवी प्रदान करेपर्यंत उभून उभे राहतील माननीय गुरुगुरु महोदय कृषी विद्या शाखेतील बॅचलर ऑफ सायन्स कृषी जैव तंत्रज्ञान या पदवी करिता उचित योग्यता प्राप्त केलेल्या स्नातकांना व्यक्तीशा आपणा समोर सादर करण्याची अनुज्ञा असावी पदवी पुरस्कारांचा आपण अनुग्रह करावा अशी प्रार्थना आहे या विद्यापीठाचा कुलगुरु या पदांमुळे विधिवत प्राप्त झालेल्या अधिकारात मी बॅचलर ऑफ सायन्स कृषी जैव तंत्रज्ञान या पदवी पुरस्काराचा अनुग्रह करीत आहे आणि ही पदवी प्राप्त करणाऱ्या पदवीदारांना या पदवीची अध्यादेशी तारीखीत म्हणून व्यक्ती विद्यावस्थे परिधान करण्याची अनुज्ञा देतात बीएफएससी मत्स्य स्नातक पदवी प्रदान करेपर्यंत उभू उभे राहतील माननीय गुरुगुरु महोदय मत्स्य विद्या शाखेतील बॅचलर ऑफ फिशरी सायन्स मत्स्य या पदवीकरिता उचित योग्यता प्राप्त केलेल्या स्नातकांना व्यक्तिशाह आपल्या समोर सादर करण्याची अनुग्रह असावी पदवी पुरस्काराचा आपण अनुग्रह करावा अशी प्रार्थना आहे या विद्यापीठाचा कुलगुरु या पदांमुळे विधिवत प्राप्त झालेल्या अधिकाऱ्यांनी बॅचलर ऑफ फिशरी सायन्स मत्स्य या पदवी पुरस्काराचा अनुग्रह करीत आहे आणि ही पदवी प्राप्त करणाऱ्या पदवीदारांना या पदवीची अध्यादेशी पद अधिचिन्ह म्हणून विद्यावस्थे परिधान करण्याची अनुज्ञा देत बीटेक कृषी अभियांत्रिकी स्नातक पदवी प्रदान करेपर्यंत उभू उभे राहते माननीय कुलगुरु महोदय कृषी अभियांत्रिकी विद्या शाखेतील बॅचलर ऑफ टेक्नॉलॉजी कृषी अभियांत्रिकी या पदवीकरता उचित योग्यता प्राप्त केलेल्या स्नातकांना व्यक्तीशा आपल्या समोर सादर करण्याची अनुज्ञा असावी 
पदवी पुरस्काराचा आपण अनुग्रह करावा अशी प्रार्थना आहे या विद्यापीठाचा कुलगुरू या पदांमध्ये विधिवत प्राप्त झालेल्या अधिकारात मी बॅचलर ऑफ टेक्नॉलॉजी कृषी आर्थिकी या पदवी पुरस्काराचा अनुग्रह करीत आहे आणि ही पदवी प्राप्त करणाऱ्या पदवीधरांना या पदवीची अध्यादेशी अधिचिन्हे म्हणून विद्या वस्त्रे परिधान करण्याची आदत मिळाली माननीय कुलगुरू महोदय मी आता सन दोन हजार एकोणीस वीस आणि दोन हजार वीस एकवीस या वर्षामध्ये डॉक्टर बाळासाहेब सावंत कोकण कृषी विद्यापीठांतर्गत विविध पदवी पदव्युत्तर अभ्यासक्रमात विशेष प्राविण्य प्राप्त केलेल्या सुवर्ण पदक विजेत्या विद्यार्थ्यांना सादर करीत आहे त्यांना आपण सुवर्ण पदके प्रदान करावी अशी मी विनंती करतो डॉक्टर बाळासाहेब सावंत कोकण कृषी विद्यापीठ सुवर्ण पदक वर्ष दोन हजार एकोणीस वीस श्रीमती मयेकर श्वेता उर्फ चेतना कृष्णा एम एस सी कृषी श्रीमती एडिगा अरुण गौड एम एम एस सी मत्स्य श्रीमती आमरे प्रियांका कैलास एम के कृषी अभियांत्रिकी श्री जोरवेदर निलेश पराजी एम एस सी वनशास्त्र श्रीमती सोडणकर नेहा प्रताप एम एस सी उद्यान विद्या श्रीमती पावशे उत्कर्षा अंकुश एम एस सी पी एच एम श्रीमती भोसले पूजा सुनील एम एस सी जैव तंत्रज्ञान डॉक्टर बाळासाहेब सावंत कोकण कृषी विद्यापीठ सुवर्ण पदक वर्ष वीस एकवीस देवरे निकिता अनिल बी एस सी कृषी कुंभार परिमल सुरेश अंकित पटेल विशेष विशेष कृषी अभियांत्रिकी श्रीमती गरुण प्रज्ञा राजेंद्र बी एफ एस सी श्री सुरेश प्रथमेश सुभाष बीटेक अंध तंत्रज्ञान श्री चाळके आकाश भरत बी एस सी वनशास्त्र श्री देवकात हंसराज जयसिंग बी एस सी कृषी जैव तंत्रज्ञान ऑनरेबल चीफ गेस्ट ऑफ पटेल कॉन्वोकेशन सर डॉक्टर आर सी अग्रवाल आय प्रेजेंट टू यू द कैंडिडेट्स हु हैव ओन अदर गोल्ड मेडल्स ड्यूरिंग द इयर 2019-20 टू 2021 आय प्रे दे मे बी अवॉर्डेड गोल्ड मेडल्स अस्पी सुवर्ण पदक वीस वीस एकवीस श्रीमती रोगडे नेहा पंडित बी एस सी कृषी
Vimati, Pakula, Supriya, Vyankatesham, Vite, Krishya Vyadri. Sir Robert Allen Swan Brother, Vishay, Vishakis, Devare, Nikita Ali, VSC Krishi. Dr. G. G. Thakre, G. G. Thakre, Swan Brother, Ekoni Sweet. Bosle, Preeti, Satish, MSC Krishi, Krishi Arthur Sastra. Examar Suvarna Badar, Vishya Ekonis, Vish. Shri Hatwa Nikhi Khemaraji, MSC Krishi, Peter Sastra. Shri Dawle Mukunda Bala Sahib, MSC Krishi, Varaswati Ho Shastra. Shri Dubye Kashmira Suresh, MSC Krishi, Krishi Vidya. Vimati Chodankar Neha Pratap, MSC Udhyan Vidya. Dunde Bhushan Bhujraj, MSC Krishi, Vodakshati Chakra. कई मंदा की नहीं सहसा मुझे स्वर्ण पदक बीस एक्विस स्वीट कामर बालकृष्ण श्री एमएससी कृषि कई अरुण भैया नायक पड़ी स्वर्ण पदक बीस एक्विस विमली अनेक स्वप्नाली संजय एमएससी कृषि विस्तार शिक्षण Shrimati Nirima Shiranga Kadreka Suvarna Badak, B. Sekvis, Hiradar Sahi Uttam, M.S.C. Krishi, Yudharak Shastra, or Krishi Rathayan Shastra. Uh, now I request another chief case of the project for the patient to deliver it for the patient address. The worship, please. Good morning to all of you. Honorable Minister for Agriculture, C. Dadaji Bhushiji, who is also the Pro Vice Chancellor. Honorable Vice Chancellor, Dr. Sanjay Savan of this beautiful uh, university. Honorable members of the Executive and Academic Council, respected heads of the departments and teachers, officers and employees of this industry, students, media persons, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, I would like to thank uh, Honorable Vice Chancellor, Honorable Governor, Honorable Pro Vice Chancellor for 
giving me this opportunity uh, to witness uh, this conversation, this particular conversation of this great university. So thank you very much, sir. Uh, and thanks to the academic council, academic council for this uh, recognition to me. First of all, I want to uh, thank all these students, and I want to congratulate all these students that uh, they have shown so much confidence. Uh, yesterday, I could see a lot of uh, lot of confidence in these students. So I, I want to thank those students for uh, getting such education in this great university. I want to congratulate each one of you who have received the medals, who have received the degrees today. And uh, I'm sure that uh, the contribution, which is one of the biggest uh, occasion, one of the biggest uh, functions that attend in your life, that today you should commit yourself to dedicate uh, this degree towards the nation, towards the society, towards your family. Because you become more mature by visiting this degree. You become mature to deliver uh, your education for the cause of the society, for the cause of this country. So it's really a, a, a very important day in your life. Dear students, as you know, we are really at a crossroads where the future of our country lies in your hands. When we say for the future, as you know, nobody can predict the future. We, we, we did not know, uh, you know, during the first lockdown that even on 15th of March, I was on tour, uh, we could not know that there is something like lockdown. Nobody ever, uh, ever uh, experienced the lockdown. But on 22nd of March, 22, 20, there was a lockdown. So nobody could predict that there is going to be a, a, a situation. But at least we can shape our future. We were so much prepared, and especially our education system was so much prepared that, that there was no shortage of any kind of food system. There was no shortage of any uh, kind of milk, meat, eggs, anything. Because that was the only thing which was required by each one of us when you are sitting at home. If you did not require the cosmetic, you did not require the, uh, the uh, cloth, you did not require the fabric, you did not require any other thing, but the food was So we have to be thankful for such universities, for your teachers, for the system, for the farmers, for the KDKs, for ICS institutes, everybody who is part of national agricultural system. Or I, I always say nine. National Agriculture Research, Education and Access System that we did not have any shortage of any kind of thing when we were sitting at home. But today, again, I say as I started that now you become more mature. You have to see what are the challenges in front of us and we have to see that how best we can deliver to our country, to our fellow citizens, to our society. And for that, uh, I just say that uh, the national education policy which has come, as Honorable Vice Chancellor has said, is very relevant for today's time. Mm -hmm. Let us see what are those things we can deliver. Let us see our national plan. Let us see our global issues. And as you see, I, I just told that we are at the crossroads. Why we are at the crossroads? We have to really decide that the degree is not just for getting your career. The degree is just to decide what you have to do in the future. Like we have a lot of population pressure. Everybody knows what are those figures. Yesterday also there were some figures announced by uh, health survey, national health and family survey. And you can see the figures of spending, you can see the figures of investing. So, very alarming things. And if you see the global hunger index, yes, again, it's alarming figure. The number of 117 countries, we divide 102 persons. Well, who has to decide? 
who is to help our country? It is you. Who has to just see that there is no malnutrition, there is no uh, kind of hunger, there is no kind of hidden hunger, there is no shortage of any uh, nutrient in our food which we supply. So, whatever we do, whether through forestry, to agroforestry, to our crop fields, field crops, to the animal science, veterinary science, whatever we do, but we have to keep in mind that there is no hunger, there is no malnutrition, because then our GDP cannot be what we what we require. We are at a stage when we are just talking for this gross domestic product. We are at a stage when we are talking for uh, for uh, filling the value of our hundred people. But if you see a uh, global level, there are countries which are moving towards the happiness only. We are struggling for this thing, but they are thinking for the happiness. But those spending even countries which are thinking for the happiness and which are always at the top of happiness, they are much above this. So we have long way to go and again reshape our countries. But how we can take care of the happiness? And when you say for the happiness, there are a lot of factors which come into account. So let me just begin uh, with some of the initiatives which we have taken. Because education, uh, as you see, uh, earlier when it was started uh, during the British period, uh, that time uh, it was a linear education. And when I say linear means they were, the education was just to prepare yourself to work in the factories, to work in the uh, in the other uh, companies uh, which the British also started. But now that is not the case. Now it's not, uh, it's a, something organic. Which has to evolve on on uh, on its own. Education is organic now. The organic growth it has to evolve. And when we say organic, so that means let us see that how we change ourselves to the changing environment. And that is the reason why we are changing always. Recently, we have uh, released this BSMA recommendations for the PG and PhD students, where we have revised the complete course program. And also the academic regulations. You see the new academic regulations, where even the interns we have allowed at the PG level, we have allowed even that in your advisory committee member, you can have some experts from outside of you. You don't have to be a member of your academic council. So that maybe so that you, you are industry ready, you are ready to take the challenges, you know what, what are the problems. Uh, in your MSc or PhD programs. And similarly, at uh, UG level, uh, we are uh, going to have a lot of certificate courses, a uh, lot of diploma courses. The uh, Dean's Committee is already on, and we are having a lot of meetings. Today, also, uh, on uh, 19th, there is a meeting at CNR. And if you have any suggestions to make, please let us know what kind of changes you want at the UGD. We are uh, like the Mahasana model. We want to have uh, the polytechnics uh, also now after 10th class uh, in all the universities. So that the gross environment ratio which we talk, we can really have. And through the IDHT, through the National Education Higher Education Project, which in the morning I had the opportunity to inaugurate some of the labs. You see, a complete ecosystem is changing in our agriculture university system. And even the general universities, they are talking of the agriculture universities. That, that there is, there is accelerated growth uh, in this ecosystem. If you go to that building which Honorable Vice Chancellor has dedicated for NHG, you will have change in your mindset. Because change in mindset is required. When we say academics, the new education policy is not called the new academic policy. Because education means you have to learn more and more from many uh, stakeholders. Those stakeholders tell me your teachers, tell me your friends, tell me police, tell me society, your parents, and many more. So, 
learn as much as you can. And for that only, we are now trying to have your language there, your layer of ideal artificial intelligence, virtual reality. These are the things which are required for the future. You see, uh, there is a law of diminishing returns. In the same way, there is a law of accelerated returns. What is the uh, law of accelerated returns? It says that whenever those discoveries happen, but the technology is increasing in accelerated growth. You can see earlier when the, uh, the steam engine was evolved, there were only few transport uh, transport methods, but now you see how everybody can afford the cars, how everybody can have multiple kind of technologies. Similarly, in computers, you can see how uh, when we were a student, uh, there was only a supercomputer. Uh, and I think in the whole NAS, whole educational education system, uh, there was only one supercomputer. That time, supercomputer. Now, the same kind of computing facilities are available in our pockets. In the mobile. So, how accelerated growth is there? For analyzing, analyzing one simple RBD analysis there. People used to stay with us for three months, getting the cards punched. But now you see, just nothing, even a person who doesn't know these stresses, he can analyze. And you can, you can analyze your data in, in your mobile. So, with that, now the same acceleration has to be there in the future. In times to come, you will see a lot of changes in the artificial. Now, you think like artificial intelligence is a thing which only the computer scientist has to deal with. I can tell you, each and every discipline, each and every student in the future has to have the knowledge of artificial intelligence. You cannot survive if you do not know about the artificial intelligence, about the virtual reality. So try to learn as much as you can, but whatever will be your success. And that's why I am saying that you have to learn more and more from many, many things. If you go beyond this, there are many other challenges. Uh, as if you see at the internal level, we have the climate change is one of the one of the uh, issue, global issue. Then we have uh, the productivity issue. The population issue, how we can uh, go uh, for more production, but there is already a threshold. Everything is sinking, water is polluting, land is reducing, and uh, whatever resource you see, and we are putting a lot of pressure only on three species the rice, wheat, and clay. I think uh, around 55% of our dietary uh, requirement is just what we do this. And on 15 species, we just rely on 95% of our dietary requirement. So, a lot of pressure on this. So, how we have to diversify? So, a lot of issues are there. But let us see. I request all these students, please identify what are the initial issues. As our honorable Prime Minister always says, it is doubling farmer syndrome, it is a more crops per crop. Then there are many other challenges of the productivity, but now they are coming out that the food is not only the production, but it is it has to be a production where you don't have much insecticide, pesticides, again is it is challenge, how you can produce more without using uh, the insecticide, pesticides, and other artificial things, chemical things. So it's a challenge. And now it is up to you how you can have hydroponics, aeroponics. How everybody can grow their own food in their houses, how you can go for vertical farming, how you can, many things are there. So, once you are prepared, once you are getting these degrees, now it is your responsibility that to think for the future, future generations, that how best they can be handled for all this. Personality development, again, is very important for the students. As you know, these are not only the academic marks which can provide you the jobs, which can provide you uh, for whatever you want, but you know what you're personally. And for that only, we have this ID program. Uh, I am happy to share with you uh, that there is a lot of 
interest now in the girls student to come for the education. There are some universities where we have around 70 percent girls student and just 20 percent boys. And overall ratio uh, has increased from 23 percent, which was around 15 years back, to 49 percent. So 49 overall in all the universities are the girls and 51 percent are the boys. So that's really a good sign that uh, more and more girls are uh, interested for this education and absolute number is also increasing. Earlier, uh, for ICR seats, uh, we have around 7,000 seats uh, for UG, PG and PC. We used to have around 80,000 applications, around 5 years ago. But today, for same number of seats, we are getting 2 lakh applications. So we have to identify 7,000 students out of uh, 2 lakh so there is a big change. So that means more and more persons are attracted to the agriculture. It is our duty now that how best we can take care of those rejections. That out of two lakhs, if seven thousand only get admission, then what about those one lakh ninety thousand candidates? For that, what kind of support we can provide? What kind of uh, help we can provide to them uh, through certificate courses, diploma courses? skill development process and that's what now we are trying to address to various committees, to various models and uh, I request uh, the uh, Vice Chancellor that please see that in future uh, as if you see in this education policy by 2035 you are going to be stopped with all kind of financial uh, support from the government. And that's what the NEP say that we have to generate your own revenue. But you cannot generate your revenue over there. You have to start thinking now. You have to have new and new models for it. And what are those new models? You have to, each one of you has to, uh, has to suggest a uh, few devices. We are combining all such uh, revenue models and we'll be sharing with all the devices of that because. Uh, I have seen some, uh, there are some universities uh, which have revenue of 165 crores per year and they have jumped from 80 crores to 169 crores in just one year. They have doubled their revenue. So how we can also think for doubling our revenue. It cannot come just by the, uh, the, the uh, admissions, it cannot just come by uh, single thing. We have to in the holistic way, how you can pick and so that then we can just see that yes, we can provide the best of the best education to our students, best facilities, best laboratory, and best environment, best ecosystem we can provide to students. Once we have your own, so let us think in that direction also how best we can help our students. A lot of uh, good achievements we heard from honorable by something. That a lot of awards, uh, patents, uh, we have applied uh, some patents, we have got some patents, and a lot of uh, new varieties have been developed by this uh, great university. A lot of varieties have been registered with the PTV and Abra Authority. So, my compliments to you for all that which you have received. And uh, uh, there, are, uh, there are some excellences in the, uh, in the academics also. As we could see today, a uh, lot of uh, students getting awards, and especially ma maximum of them were, I think, the best students. Again, that is the change we can find, and we can complement all the best students. That yes, that keep doing the same pace, keep doing the same work, and in the same way, always try to excel whatever you do in life. Uh, friends, uh, let me also just uh, tell you uh, about the experience. Now, the kind of like uh, I just give you an example. When you fly uh, an aeroplane, if you are going to be a pilot, now can you just read the books and have two hours of experience and then somebody can give the aeroplane flight? You have to have all kind of experience. 
you will be exposed to the Indian also, you will be exposed to every kind, every part of the aeroplane. And then at least 10 million of flying hours you should have before operating this. So, in the same way, you also have to have this kind of experience if you want to really become a successful entrepreneur. Uh, I am again happy to share with you that in one of the universities where I visited uh, just last month, I could see uh, four young girls. Uh, they were sweeping the floor. And I thought maybe they are the contextual laborers and they have been hired to uh, sweep the floor. Without announcement, I just by sunset went in the early morning, second of all, but I wanted to see you some of the accessible elements. And then I came to know they are musicians. And when I discussed, and they had their face covered because there were a lot of dust which were coming. When I asked those uh, girls, uh, they told us, we have not been instructed by anybody to sweep the floor, but we are doing on our own. Then we have to uh, collect all the garbage and other things. So they were trying to learn everything because they wanted to have their own poultry farm. They wanted to have their own poultry farm. It was a good uh, shed. So that kind of commitment is required. Don't try to say that, no, this is not my job. I am an engineer, I will not do this. Until you learn everything at the ground. So that kind of experience you have to learn in this university. If you have to prepare your farm, don't ask that, okay, send me two laborers. They have to prepare my farm. And then only I will show this. Until as you know, you cannot know the difficulties which are going Then again, I can share with you uh, the, the kind of commitment, a kind of, uh, I can say, the vision the students have. Yesterday also, I want to again congratulate Honorable Vice Chancellor that the kind of uh, confidence I could see amongst these students that is really appreciated. That they want to become the entrepreneur and the kind of dedication I could see. And same kind of dedication I could see in some of these students in other universities. And they help their family, their society during this COVID period by uh, imparting the training which they have received in the university to their family members to start some, some kind of business. And that was really, really very emotional. So that kind of thing now we are changing, we are seeing uh, in, the, uh, in the universities and we want to have commitment from each one of you so that we can see that we are in future and in time to come our students are ready. If the future cannot be predicted, at least we can see that the, they can reshape the future. They are prepared for it. So that kind of experience has to be received by each one of you. From end to end. For entrepreneurship also, please try to learn each and everything. How you have to receive the loan, what are the different acts, what are the rules, what are the different methods, how you can interact with somebody, how what is your business model. Complete thing. Try to learn as much as you can. And gain as much experience you can gain uh, when you are in this business. So that's really uh, very important uh, for uh, this uh, for your future. Each and every day in the depth you will know, as the Ministry of Education Policy says, uh, uh, the Ministry of Education Policy says that we have to have the conceptual, conceptual level, not the road level. So that means we are not studying to clear the exam, to get more and more marks. There is a competition among the students. How much do you receive? I receive 99% over. Oh, I receive 99.2%. I will receive then next year 995 So that competition is healthy. Uh, I don't say it's, it's not required. But you will automatically receive more marks once you are clear in the concepts. So try to interact as much as you can with your teachers. And so that is the reason why we are now Having this agri teacher portal. In agri teacher portal, we are, there is a shortage of good teachers. I don't say teachers. There is a shortage of good teachers who are really good. And we are trying to create a pool of those good teachers and providing those lectures at once in the day. So that the students can learn, can listen to those good teachers in different topics. And uh, even otherwise, if you see, uh, the government guidelines, the Ministry of Education guidelines, these guidelines are there. 
the ratio teacher is to uh, teacher to student ratio is to one is to ten. But in our industries, the ratio is one is to seven. So that means we are far ahead than the general industries. And once we calculated this thing, we just found that without filling those vacant positions, even if you take one to ten ratio, we can immediately have around 74 more of 74 already more students in our Presently we have uh, around uh, uh, 46 dollars uh, in our education. So we are far ahead of them. But if you fill up those questions, then you can have another two layers. So we are really lucky that using this one project where we are spending so I am again uh, happy to share with you. Even we have spent around 20 lakh rupees on one single student for sending them abroad. Can you have, can you just give me any example of any university outside this ICS system where the students, even starting from COVID test, their local passport, visa fee, everything, whatever is there, including their podium, complete end to end, we are paying and sending them for best of the best global universities. So that our future is ready. We can say that as I was talking in the morning, we can say that yes, we are not less than any global university. And sir, I can again share with you that uh, we are having a study now to a global consultant that what is the requirement maybe next six months I will be able to share that report with, uh, with you. In the next Six months, I will just give that report. But what is the requirement of the human resources in the education sciences for the next 20 years? So that exactly we know that how many persons we require in the forestry, how many uh, students we require for the horticulture, animal science, veterinary science. So that assessment we are going to do. And another study we are making, which is again at the almost at the final stage, is that what is the uh, requirement for the global university. Our university has to make, has to move towards the globalization. Why we are not able to compete for the first level? Why we are not able to compete for the tenth level? Let us see what are those things. So, how we can come to the global level? How we can go for the internalization? Because that is again the part of the energy. How you can have more and more. Interested students here, you can have more and more uh, paid seats. So, all those things now we have to just think and really come up with uh, more and more such, such, uh, such kind of uh, solutions. Maybe uh, I did a few more minutes. Okay. Uh, let me also tell you uh, I was talking about the global issues. And uh, you see the sustainable development goals. I think each instrument is knowing what is the sustainable development goals. How the millennium development goals were converted into the sustainable development goals, and which we have to receive by 2030. What can be your role? Whether it's education, the clean environment, whether it's poverty, hunger, whether it's uh, conservation of the resources, sustainable agriculture, whatever is there. But again, I can just tell you out of those 17 sustainable development goals, which you must read and see how best you can continue. 80% they are directly related to the agriculture. All these agriculture, uh, these sustainable development goals. So our goal is very important in those sustainable development goals. 169 are the targets. Let us review those, let us see, and let us commit that yes. Out of this, at least one target, I will be able to continue by making the environment clear, by cleaning less, by helping in the elevation of this poverty, or whatever you can think of, clean water. So that is again really one of the important challenge we have to meet. Then, uh, if you have had uh, interested treaty on plant dairy resources for food agriculture. If not, then please uh, go through that. ITPDR, it's a treaty signed by India, and India was a 4 in uh, 
formulation of the treaty. Unfortunately, I am representing the Asia uh, in that uh, particular treaty, and I chaired this bond sites also for the treaty. There are 150 countries. And we are going to have uh, the next uh, global conference where 150 countries will be participating during this supplement. So, one of the, I am just giving a food for thought to you. One of the important aspects, which last time when I attended the meeting at Rome, and no country could come to a consensus on a very important topic, there was DSL digital sequence information. What is that? Because earlier we were just talking that we will not share our general our, our genetic resources with any other country. And if it is being shared, then we will have some kind of uh, benefit sharing. What is benefit sharing? You all must know. But now what this DSI clause is saying that I don't rely on the material, whatever you have, you have it with me. Only they are asking to share the genetic sequences. And if you share the genetic sequences, you can re-engineer and you can develop that particular genetic resource. So there is no physical exchange of any material. So now we have to again deliver it during this very meeting and we have to come with a stand that what should be India's role to have. So that's why I was saying, let us see the global issues, let us see the national issues, global issues, whatever is there, and let us be part of those deliberations, let us be part of those committees, whatever is there. So let us, then only we can think that our, our thinking is global. Our thinking is not just my family matters, that I have to purchase a land, I have to build a good house, I have to uh, focus more on my, on betterment of my uh, education of my child, something. That is required. But let us also be part of some uh, something which can help the society at last. So that's really uh, very important to be part of that. And then just trying to motivate these students that how they can uh, really uh, come out and uh, just start uh, deliberating on that that's about many issues. To identify some issues, discuss, make seminars in the hostels, uh, request vice chancellor. That I want to talk on this particular topic, and I think he will be uh, happy to uh, arrange the lectures for you. So, if that kind of ecosystem comes, I think we will be very happy. And we will just see that yes, our NEHT has progressed very well. NEHT, uh, National Agriculture Higher Education Project, that they started, is one of the flagship projects of the entire World Bank. I got a call from the World Bank. Uh, past the leader, and he was saying he talked to our director general and just told that sir, NEHT is the best project among all the projects being done by the world. Bank. And can we share this project to other countries to just showcase that how the project is monitored? In the world, Bank, there are certain readies, and those readies are uh, high, outstanding. Then satisfactory, moderately satisfactory, unsatisfactory, and then they just close the period. Before NEIT, we have two ICs, we have done many other uh, world bank projects. You may be knowing about NAIT, NAITP, NAP, and many, many projects, and you must be part of many of those. And till then, people were happy just with moderately satisfactory also. There was they were never really, really satisfactory. But this time they have given us the outcome. Outstanding. And I give that credit to all my partners. I alone cannot do anything. My team alone cannot do anything. All the universities, I have 64 universities partnered in that NHT. And the example you can see here, World Bank is really very eager to come physically because they have still some restrictions to, for the physical movement. They want to see some of the facilities and maybe I can bring them to this double years, the World Bank, if you are ready to accept. So, this NAHT has really, the, I give another example. Uh, Ministry of Finance, because there are many reviews of this NAHT. Every three months there is a review by the Ministry of Finance, every three month, uh, six months there is a review by the World Bank, every three months there is a review by the Project Monitoring Committee, 
there is NHEPC, there is a national selling committee. So almost uh, every uh, month we have a review of this. The finance ministry did not agree for an extension of any project. Any project. Uh, beyond their original period. This was the only project which the finance ministry just told us we are ready to extend it because of the accident support. And that was the reason why I, we could give this project to the body, also the fourth round. Otherwise, the project was going to be closed in this March, uh, March 25th. So, what really you get dependence? It's not to be just say that I must have some contacts in the finance ministry, so I got the approval for extension. No, it is the work which is weak. Many of these students may be just thinking that if you don't have the good links, you cannot be a good entrepreneur. Some of your family members are actually good entrepreneur, and some of uh, uh, you have to have good links to get a better job. No, if you are a good performer, then people will run after you to get employment for you. You have to believe on these things. You have to have some contents in your mind. In nobody else. You have to understand uh, how the image, uh, how you have to be the imaginative, how you have to be creative, and how you have to be innovative. What is the difference around it? Let us understand all these things. And once you show some impact, you show the depth. Yes, you have the depth in this subject. I think the job is not a, uh, there is no shortage of any job. The shortage is of the good trained human level. Um, I'm again sorry to say, some of these students in some of the universities I could find, they, are, they were getting degrees in, in uh, statistics. And when I asked, okay, just give me a five minutes lecture on your PhD topic. Then he told, no, sir, I have to be, and then only I can give five minutes. I told PhD means four years you have devoted on this. Even at night, 12 o'clock, if I ask you, please give me five minutes talk, you can give. But you are not ready to give him five minutes talk on his PhD topic. And then, when you talk about the getting a job, not even employment. Then you will say, sir, there is a shortage of employment, we are out of job, we are doing this thing. So, my dear friends, my dear students, I can just tell you that please try to learn as much as you can so that we can just say that uh, yes, our students are really ready for it, are having a gap in their subjects, whatever they are. And when I say gap, uh, you, you must see uh, the IITs. Many IIT students, do you find that they are getting employment only in the subject in which they have been trained? I have seen very good IIT students, proper of IIT, who are doing very good, yeah. who are comedians. Yeah. Because they are having a death, whatever they do in life, they will do with full environment. So let us see, and that is why the initial education policy again I repeat says that you have to have the power of development. That's why the ABC is there. Again, the bank of credit is there. You can do anything. If you want to do fine arts, you do the fine arts. If you want to have the music, you have the music. Get some credit from some other university and it will be reflected in your classic. So that you have the power of development. You are more creative, more imaginative, more uh, innovative in the things. So never think that you are less than some Western countries, you are less than some other uh, persons, or they are the superior from us. No, we are the superior. Why we cannot be superior? Let us see all those things. Uh, for that, uh, equally important is your uh, other things as I see. The sleep is important to the students, especially I want to say. You must understand what is the importance of the sleep. How it affects your uh, your uh, memory, how it affects your daily uh, routine. So please have uh, read uh, a book. I, I just say uh, that why we sleep, and uh, that is uh, in my book order. Uh, any student who can raise the hand who has read this book? No. Then you must read this book. It's a very good book. One of my best favorite books. And you will just know that how your temporary memory uh, is 
stored in the permanent memory where you see what kind of seats are there, RAM, non RAM. And uh, the author says that he likes those students who sleep in the class. Generally, he told those students if you sleep in the class, he says, no, they are the best students. But once you have a nap of, say, two minutes, three minutes, that temporary things get stored in your permanent memory. The best thing. So let us understand all those things. Don't sleep at 4 o'clock in the night and then get up at uh, 7 o'clock. So you don't have complete sleep and then you appear in the exam. And then you say, I have not restored good marks. You cannot restore good marks. Let us see all those things in holistic way. Let us see all those things. I'll not take much time. I just uh, end by saying, I think. Uh, लेकिन जो हनुमान चालीसा पढ़ते हैं उसमें जहां से शुरुआत होती है मैं बताता हूँ आपको बुद्धिहीन तन जाने के सुमेर पवन सुभा सुना होगा आपने हरो कलेश विकार तो उसमें आप क्या मानते हैं भगवान से क्या मानते हो बुद्धिहीन मतलब मेरे को बुद्धि ही मान लिया और क्या कहती है बल बुद्धि विद्या तीन चीज मानते हैं पैसा तो नहीं मानते उसमें बल दे भगवान आपको बुद्धि दे तो आपको किस तरह से इंटेलिजेंस दे और किस तरह से आपको ज्ञान दे आप मांगी भगवान से ये सब चीज है आपके भगवान यहाँ पर आपकी यूनिवर्सिटी है आप जितना मांग सकते हैं मांगी उनसे जो है और हरो कलेश विकार कलेश और विकार का भी मतलब हमें समझ रहा है कि कितनी तरह के कलेश होते हैं कितनी तरह के विकार होते हैं आपके पांच तरह के कलेश होते हैं और छह तरह के विकार होते हैं उनको भी हरने के लिए आप भगवान से लड़ते हैं भाई इनको कह दिए तभी मैं जाके अपने आपको आपको समर्पित कर रहा तो आपके जैसे कलेश है अविद्या है आपके अस्मिता है अस्मिता मतलब राग है अटैचमेंट्स द्वेष है आपका अवर्डेंस जिसको बोलते हैं इंग्लिश में और अभिनेत्र जिसमें कि हम क्रिया करते हैं जो डर लगता है ऐसे विकार आपके छह तरह के हैं काम क्रोध लोभ मोह मद और मत्स्य तो इन सब चीजों के लिए हमें एक एक चीज को आप देखिए कि किस तरह से हम इसके ऊपर आ सकते हैं और अच्छी ज्ञान का अध्ययन हम यहाँ पे कर सकते हैं थैंक यू वेरी मच